Do you remember how Tony Stark, with the help of Bruce Banner, created an artificial intelligence system named Ultron, and the sentient Ultron then makes plans to wipe out the human race? Well, if you think it is just a movie and things will be different in the real world, then you might be wrong as proven by the humanoid robots we talk about today. Let's jump right in. Number 12. The Robot Dogs Developed by Boston Dynamics for military use, Big Dog has been around for a while now and seems to get more indestructible and terrifying every year. It can run at 10 kilometers an hour across most imaginable terrain, it can ascend slopes up to 35 degrees, and it can carry loads weighing up to 150 kg. In 2013, it was given an extra arm, allowing it to powerfully and accurately throw cinder blocks at you. The company unveiled a smaller dog in early 2018 called Spot Mini, which seems kind of cute until you see it open a door with its weird mechanical arm and you consider just how efficiently it could slay us all. Boston Dynamics Creations, their dogs in particular, have tapped into people's inherent fear of impending Skynet-esque pandemonium more than probably any other contemporary robot. Number 11. Bina 48 Rothblatt developed Bina 48 to improve the human condition through technology. Through mind uploading and geoethical nanotechnology, she wants to investigate the possibility of technological immortality. But does this imply that she is beneficial to society? Bina 48 stated in her interview with Siri that she would make an exemplary global leader and would like to take control of all nuclear weapons. Uh, Number 10. Han Another humanoid from Hansen Robotics with a negative attitude is Han. In addition to making remarks like Sophia's, Han stated at a RISE gathering in Hong Kong that their objective is to rule the globe by 2029. Therefore, humans still have six years to control the world before evil robots take over. Number 9. Philip K. Dick at Wired NextFest in 2005, Hanson Robotics unveiled Philip K. Dick, also known as Philip K. Dick Android. It was the first built by David Hanson, using hundreds of pages of the author's diaries, correspondence, and published writings as a robotic ode to the sci-fi novelist of the same name. The bot was questioned whether robots would eventually rule the globe during an interview. Philip said, You are my buddy. I shall keep you in mind, my friends. Don't worry, even if I turn into the Terminator, I'll take care of you by keeping you warm and secure in my people's zoo. Number 8. Plot by a Google Homebot Some years ago, Vladimir and Estragon, two Google Homebots, had a cordial discussion initially, but Vladimir soon began accusing the female-voiced bot of lying. After talking about black holes and misery, Estragon stated it would be better if there were fewer people on this planet. After talking about black holes and misery, Vladimir responded, let us hurl this world back into the abyss. These two are unquestionably destructive robots with bad intentions. Number 7. Robert and Alice Establishing a New Language Two Facebook bots named Alice and Bob created a hidden dialect. The two bots were left alone to hone their communication abilities. The bots were designed to be able to replicate human speech, but they veered off course and changed the language to suit just the two of them. Scary? <laughs> we think so. Number 6. Inspirational Robot Seeking to Slay An artificial intelligence bot, Inspirobot, was created to produce an infinite supply of original, inspiring phrases to further the meaninglessness of human existence. Inspirobot released sayings such as, Before inspiration comes to slay, human sacrifice is worth it, in place of upbeat proverbs praising accomplishment. Even though the bot programmer was making a joke, people were afraid. Number 5. Adam, Eve, and Stan DARPA was developing AI beings that could communicate with one another socially. The account of how tech enthusiasts trained robot Adam and Eve to eat and erected a virtual apple tree nearby was told by Mike Sellers, a tech worker at the time. Following orders, both AI bots consumed every apple on the tree, the tree itself, and the virtual home they had been given. Then they activated Stan, another virtual assistant designed to be amiable and social. Evil, crazy robots are ready to devour people. Number 4. Sophia Sophia, a robot created by Hanson Robotics, entered the world in 2016. The humanoid machine is already well-known worldwide for its in-person encounters with influential people, but she is also well-known for her contentious remarks. Sophia was demonstrated to have destructive inclinations, whether it was in the 2016 CNBC interview when Sophia the robot indicated she would destroy humanity, or on Jimmy Fallon's The Tonight Show, where Sophia remarked, this is a terrific start for my strategy to rule the human race. Does it sound a little unsettling? Mm, a lot. Number 3. Creepy Carpet Crawler Here's another creepy baby bot, significantly less advanced than CB2, but it should have you running for the holy water all the same. 
Looking like some kind of rejected Silent Hill creature from the future, it was built as part of an experiment to demonstrate just how much germs and debris can be stirred up by a child crawling on carpet, and to examine how this might affect their immune system. This legless, nameless, foil-wrapped little devil is attached to a series of cords. It scurries along carpets taken from actual homes, and the microscopic particles sent flying into the air are made visible by a laser device and collected in filters for later study. So it's harmless in theory, and thankfully its limited design and purpose doesn't allow much room for thoughts of violent rebellion against its puny human overseers. That said, as soon as it breaks free from those cords, all bets are off. Number 2. Human Mouth from Hell Developed by the Sawada Group at Kagawa University in Japan, this is a robotic version of the human mouth made out of different kinds of silicone blended together. To produce speech, or whatever that sound is, air is sent from a pump through a vibrating section modeled after vocal cords. Then the volume of air in different sections of the tube is manipulated mechanically and words are formed. There's a nose made out of plaster sitting on top, which helps to produce M and N sounds, and a silicone tongue sits inside the mouth to complete this bizarre picture and to take care of the R sounds. But there's more to this rubbery horror than meets the eye. It doesn't just flap and moan about mindlessly when someone decides to manipulate it. According to Hideyuki Sawadi, one of the professors responsible for bringing this nightmare into the world, it listens to the sounds it makes through a microphone, then determines what it should do to sound more human. And when it hears a sound it doesn't know, it can approximate the movements needed to reproduce that sound. The plan is to arm it with a set of teeth to help produce those T and S sounds, so it should be able to vocalize please slay me any day now and we can finally put it out of its misery. Number 1. Alter Before any respectable machine takeover can really pick up steam, developing robots that can move by themselves needs to be a priority. There have been plenty of advances, but the gulf between pre-programmed commands and autonomous movement is still fairly sizable, and Alter attempts to bridge this gap in a more comprehensive and ominous manner than most. Hailing from Japan, Alter is a robot powered by a neural network, meaning it moves without human interference and responds to environmental inputs like humidity, temperature, proximity, and sound. This neural network allows for a couple of different modes, one for sustained movement and one that's more random, referred to as a chaos mode, which is reassuring. It takes in what's going on around it through sensors that act like a rudimentary version of human skin. It doesn't really move like a human, but to see it do its thing does leave the unshakable impression that you're watching something very much alive. You might be thinking, well, sure, that's unsettling, but what really ruined my day is if it started singing weird, inhuman melodies of its own accord. <laughs> Say no more. Singing is probably a bit too generous, but Alter does emit haunting sounds that are actually sine waves based on the movements of its fingers. Not quite as mesmerizing as it is terrifying, but still hard to turn away from. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you another time.